Palantir is currently one of the hottest AI stocks. In this video, I'll provide my prediction for where I believe Palantir stock will be in 2035, 10 years from now. As always, stock price forecasts involve various estimates and assumptions, as no one can predict the future with certainty. Investors should approach these forecasts with caution, treating them as potential scenarios rather than guarantees. Despite the uncertainty, I will explain exactly where my numbers come from and the reasoning behind my adjustments, allowing you to draw your own conclusions about Palantir's stock outlook for 2035. Let's start with the first one. Analysts on Wall Street who are tracking Palantir stock expect its earnings per share, EPS, to be 43 cents in 2025, and I'll use that figure for my stock price forecast. These same analysts predict Palantir's EPS will grow by 85% annually over the next five years. While I find this forecast optimistic, I'll be adjusting that number down and will explain my reasoning for the more conservative estimate. Next, I'll need the current market price of Palantir, which is about $36.75, as well as its forward price to earnings, PE, ratio, which is currently near record highs at about 8,533. With all the necessary inputs in place, let's dive into my stock price forecast model. There is 43 cents EPS estimate for next year based on Wall Street analysts' projections, and I believe it's a reasonable forecast, so I'll keep it unchanged. However, I am adjusting the projected growth rate downwards. While analysts anticipate an 85% annual increase in earnings per share, I'm revising that growth down by 25% to a 64% annual increase over the next five years. This is because sustaining 85% growth for five consecutive years is extremely challenging. Although it's possible Palantir could achieve such growth, it's more likely that EPS growth will be somewhat lower. By applying the revised 64% growth rate to the $0.43 cents EPS, we get an estimated EPS of $5.80 for the year 2030. Additionally, I'll reduce the growth rate even further for the period between 2030 and 2036, for the same reasons. If Palantir grows its earnings per share at 64% annually for five years, it will likely attract significant competition, making it harder to maintain that growth rate in the following five years. Therefore, I'm revising the growth rate down further from 2030 to 2036, reducing it by two-thirds to 21%. When I apply this 21% growth rate to the $5.80 EPS projected for 2030, I estimate an EPS of $16.18 by 2036. To put that in perspective, Starting from 43 cents in 2025 and applying these growth rates, Palantir's earnings would increase nearly 40 times over the next decade. Even though I've lowered the growth expectations, I'm still forecasting a substantial rise in Palantir's earnings per share over the next 10 years. These projections are still robust, despite the adjustments. Starting with the EPS forecast of $16.18, and we apply the current forward PE ratio of 85, which we sourced from white charts, Palantir's stock price could potentially reach $1,375 per share by 2035. This would be a massive jump from the current price of $36 per share. However, I don't believe this scenario is the most likely outcome, as a forward PE multiple of 85 is high, even by today's standards. Ten years from now, when earnings growth expectations are lower, it would be unreasonable to assume such a high multiple. By the way, if you are benefiting from the content so far and want more like this, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications bell, and comment the word more. Just go ahead and type the word more so I know. A more realistic scenario would involve a lower PE multiple in the future. If the forward PE drops to 65, Palantir's stock price could still rise significantly to $1,051 per share. If it falls further to 35, the stock price would still see a solid increase to $566 per share. Even with a PE of 20, the stock price would grow to $323 per share. Even with lower PE multiples, the stock still has significant growth potential. With the kind of earnings per share growth expected from Palantir, even if its forward PE multiple were to decrease by a third, 
the stock would still see a substantial price increase over the next decade. This highlights how powerful EPS growth can be in boosting shareholder wealth, which is why I focus so heavily on earnings when evaluating investments. So, where do I think Palantir's stock is most likely to land in 2035? As I mentioned earlier, I expect the forward PE multiple to decline, likely settling between 20 and 35 by 2035. Based on that, I believe the most probable stock price for Palantir in 2035 will be between $400 and $500 per share. This would represent more than a 10x increase from its current value. The key factor driving this is earnings per share growth. If the EPS growth doesn't meet the forecasted rates, then the stock price likely won't reach these levels. The key factor in this forecast is earnings per share growth, not the PE multiple. I don't expect the PE multiple to stay elevated, I believe it will decrease, and I'm more confident in that part of the forecast than in the earnings per share growth, which is still more uncertain. A forward PE of 85 is already high by today's standards, and if earnings per share growth slows, it could lead to an even further reduction in the forward PE. As I've said throughout this video, I've explained where I'm getting the numbers from and the adjustments I've made. You've likely noticed many areas of uncertainty. I'm using a forecasted EPS growth rate and a predicted drop in the PE multiple, both of which are highly uncertain. All these elements work together, and the final stock price is the result of these uncertainties. So, please do your own research. This is for information and educational purposes only and is just one possible scenario for Palantir stock. Feel free to use your own assumptions and estimates to come up with your own stock price forecasts. I'd love to see your predictions for Palantir in the comments below. Don't forget that God the creator of heaven and earth is the giver of all wealth. Acknowledge him in your plans and he will direct your paths. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 If you have watched the whole video until the end, drop a comment like this, I stayed until the end. Just comment that I stayed until the end. When I see this comment, I will give you a heart. There are three more important steps to build wealth. First, like this video, subscribe and then turn on the notifications bell. If you do this, you highly motivate me to continue bringing to you transformative videos every week. Do not miss out on our future videos full of knowledge and wisdom, all I am asking is your subscription. Thanks for joining us today, your support is appreciated so much. Do not hesitate to share this video to help someone, I recommend that you watch the next video, subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts about today's video. Thank you, see you in the next video by God's grace, we love you, and blessings to you. Keep in mind that these predictions are based on current estimates and assumptions, which are subject to change. The stock price outcome will depend on actual earnings performance and market conditions over the next decade. Always conduct your own research and consider various factors before making investment decisions.